Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I love the Amish man, the Amish gamer, that one guy on the internet that no one knows about. And I have an ulcer, which does and that's not really important. In the last part, we turned we toured the star I was gonna say strawberry fields, but no. We went through Stardust Fields trying to find coins and we learned Moon Who Moves. The spin jump and the high jump. Very good moves in my opinion. But not good enough. Anyways, moving onward. Who, who wait, who's saying not uh, fiends? What? Oh! Who, knights! We, we found you at last, you scum! What have you done with Prince Peasley? Yes, there was no mistake. You kidnapped Prince Peasley. We have witnesses! Now confess, villains! What's that? You say you're Mario and Luigi? Lies! Bald faced lies! The superstars. The superstar. The superstars of Mushroom Kingdom would never come here! <laughs> you're not lying. They say they're after chasing someone called Cacletta, and they're really, really tough. We didn't beat you up that badly. Bowser did that to you. Oh, oh dear. Oh my. Oh boy! Pardon us, sir. I'm so sorry. See, our kingdom's Prince Peasley was kidnapped by something. Also, recent reports out in Ho Ho Village claim. We have been looking for any sign of the perpetrator. According to eyewitnesses' accounts, the, the prince's kidnapper wore an odd helmet and spoke of mustards and fink rats. And that's all we have to go on. If you come across anything, please let us know. Reopen the investigation! Okay, as much as important as this place may be, we're not staying here. We're not. Except we're gonna come here first. Get some coins. And mushrooms, and more coins. Anyways, leaving. Now. Alright, done. Alright, now we get to leave this place. You found everything in what's with this nest? How long you wait? Blah blah blah, done. When that won't come down. Huh. That's not good indeed, even though the mountain is not my concern. <sighs> These people aren't really that important. They're really not. See? They're not very important. Even in here, they're not very important. Yet, why would you live next to a waterfall with the house destroyed? Sledge and mallet. Anyways. Fall! He was back, Prince Beasley. Up oh, high, Fawful. You again? You're the pair of pink rats that swooped into Bowser, which I hate. Hmm. Hmm. If I say to you, when I was busy with Beasley, you have been catching me. I have fury. But Cacleta has already begun smearing the butter of her next tasty plan over Bing Bing Kingdom or Castle. Since you do, since you two cannot make it in time, I say that to you that it is better than never than late. So here is your halting place. I have fury. Since you will not be shattering the stone, I laugh at you trying to climb down this mountain. Damn it, Fawful. You make it so hard, so hard to be the good guy sometimes. Huh. Oh well. Apparently, someone said something about hammer people, sludge, a uh, sledge and mallet. But we're not gonna go there. We're gonna go in here first, cause we need items badly. See, like mushrooms. The thing that we need most is actually, um, so. I said the last thing, the next thing that we actually need, the most, the item that we most likely need is syrups. Because we need that for BP. Which I don't think it's over here. Mushrooms. I don't need mushrooms. I do need syrup though. Okay, we're done with those coins. Um, mushroom? Syrup? Coins? 
Coins? Mushroom. Okay, what's in here? Oh, apparently there's a Koopa. It's like, no matter how you hit me, what would you hit me with? You can't knock you down, I think. Yeah, really? He looks like one of those really retarded kids. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it had to be said. Anyways. Over here we have a fountain where Mario can look like an Asian, a really fat Asian. But that's not really insulting at all. Anyways. I really don't like this part because it's like, you it works so hard just to get a fucking mushroom. So I don't really need to use it. Look how many mushrooms I have. Look at that. 22 of them. You're you're set for life if you have that much. That many mushrooms. Anyways. Moving onward, and apparently the bridge is broken. Yeah, go talk to the villagers. Can't climb the mountain until it's fixed. Broken, go talk to villagers. Broken, broken, broken. Soldiers come to town. And why use that Star Wars quote? I don't know. Anyways, let's move on. This is the last stone. We have now shown the true spirit of the Hammerhead Brothers. This stone's our last shot. Not good enough. Ugh. This stone just ain't gonna do it. We can't make hammers no more. What? What do you two think? What do you two think you're staring at? Huh? You want us to make a you a hammer? Hey, I think I do know these two dudes. They're Mario and Luigi from the Mushroom Kingdom, the Jumping Hammer Kings. Yeah, you you're so right, Sledge. I remember these guys. Why are there a couple of celebrities like you bumming around the place like around this place looking for a hammer? Oh, hey, look, you don't have to tell us. We fully understand. Our lips are completely sealed. We just make you what you need. We're professionals after all. That's right, pros all the way. But the thing is, in order to make hammers, we need hoo-hoo blocks from the mountaintop. And since Blah Blahmadon to suddenly stop coming down here, we can't get up to the summit. Hoo-hoo blocks are hard stones. Hammers made for those things can break anything. We need. We want to climb the mountain to get more hoo hoo blocks, but we can't jump well enough to do it. So we have to do it. Huh? Oh yeah. What was I think? You two are jumping pros after all, aren't you? So are you saying you could go to the top of the mountain and get some hoo hoo blocks? Yeah. That would be. Re that would really hook us up. If you get some hoo hoo blocks, we'll make you a special hammer. You scratch our backs, bros. You scratch yours. Yep, we have to climb the mountain, and because of that, bridge is fixed. Oh boy. So that means we have to go look for crap. And new enemy! Yes, new enemies. These are beanies. You get it? You get why they're called beanies? If you don't get it, then you're kind of slow. Anyways, I think you could just get the beanie. Wait, if you guess the thing that... If you guess that hat wear that you put on your head, or just the hat that you put on your head, then you are far wrong! Alright! Done with that little beanie battle. More beanies! More beanies! Alright! Now we can actually climb the mountain. Another beanie! Okay, done with that battle. Okay. Gotta go down here. Get a syrup, that's actually what we need. Except now we gotta climb all the way back up. Which isn't that bad. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, we need to find another beanie. 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 Yep. Aw, okay, let's not take that one approach. Let's just actually use a spin drum just to get to it. Another syrup. Good. I've been needing syrups. Lots of them. And a little beanie. Little beanies. New enemy! New enemy! Sorry, had to suckle on the devil's teat in order to get some water. If you get the reference, good for you. Anyways, dry bones! It was dry bones. I probably need to go find another dry bones in order to explain what they do. Yeah, might as well just kill another beanie. And maybe this one could be have a dry bones. 
There we go. Dry bones. Dry bones. Okay, good. I'm not gonna attack the dry bones this time. I'm gonna show you what he does. Yeah, apparently dry bones throw their skulls at you. Although they don't throw bones at you, which is surprising. I think the other incarnates of the dry bones do in the other Mario and Luigi games. I don't know. I'm guessing they do that. But I just don't know. Let's see. Hop up. Okay, good. Now spin jump. These whirlwinds come in handy. As soon as I say that, I immediately fuck that up. Anyways. Alright. There we go. Much better. Alright. Okay, now we're gonna come across new areas, which. Dry bones! Well, Mario leveled up. What can I level up this time? Uh, defense. Get to. God damn it, I was hoping to get 20 defense, not 19. Anyways, new areas! Not really, but still. Oh! Looky here! Now we can actually learn another technique with the Bounce Bros attack! That is good! Very good, actually. Hmm. I think, I think Luigi needs more speed. There we go. Decent amount of speed. And some people are gonna be like, speed the drug? No. I wish. No. Okay. I'm gonna climb up here, because up here... There's only that X. I will... <laughs> I couldn't think of anything except I was gonna say, much later we'll explain what those X's on the ground mean. For the time being, let us cool that guy who is on fire. There we go. There, his things are cool. He is cooled down. And with that, we can actually proceed forward. Uh, what to talk about? I'm going to talk about my... Oh, okay, there's a safe spot, but I'm not going to deal with it. I'm actually going to talk about the time where I was streaming Mario RPG. For the most part, I was having fun with it, but the only thing that got to me was my... was the technical difficulties I was having, which was the stupid thing glitching. Over and over and over, and it was getting really annoying. So, the only thing I'm probably going to stream is PC games until I get that that one thing resolved. So, yeah, if you don't see any more console games on my streaming, then have no fear. I'm not going to stop doing that. But anyways, back to back, back to editing. Whatever, anyways, cut! Okay. Never mind. Alright, another thing I'm going to discuss is streaming later. Later on, I probably won't do as much streams because A, I might have a job then, and also, B, college. I'm going back during the fall so I can actually get something done. Because I really don't want to be in college anymore. I really don't. I'm in college for business, and that's hard, but at the same time, it, it's worth it. So I can get better jobs in the future. But the one thing that I wish my college would actually offer, which it doesn't, which is bad. Journalism. Like, actually gives you a bachelor's or anything in journalism. I really want to be a game critic. I really do. But at the same time, it's going to be hard. Again, everything is hard, unless you put your mind to it. If you don't put your mind to it, then you are kind of lazy. Unless you're going to say, I have a degree, I have a degree that's going to get me jobs, yeah, but if you quit just to do YouTube videos, then it's going to bite you in the ass. Anyways, this switch was important. There's water from the Helping Hands Foundation. Also, mushroom. And battle. God damn it, Luigi. Alright. Moving ahead. Now we can actually put out that fire and actually, you know, proceed. 
to a new area. My face just looks so wrong, doesn't it? It looks really wrong. Okay. Also, before I do anything else, hopping up on here so I can get a syrup and mushroom. Oh no, one up mushroom and coins. I thought it was a syrup. My mistake. Oh, and hello there. Who are you? Ah, travelers. I am Hohoros, the ancient weapon of the Hoho civilization. Beyond this point, the path grows cru even crueler. You must prove yourselves up to the challenge. Dare you try this challenge? Yes. What am I, a pussy? No. You must start now, and you must catch 10 hoo hoo spirits within 30 seconds. Do not fall off the ledges, or you will immediately fail. Get. You, you failed! Damn it! Yes. It was my mistake. They kind of look like Pokeballs. Son of a bitch. Come on, I can do it. I probably don't have enough time. No, I don't have enough time because I piddled around. Yep, I piddled around. Yeah, I piddled around. And I had one left to go. Yeah, so far I'm not doing too bad right now. Except I really hate how they had to you have to go way across the across the way just to get it. Right. And then you don't get it. Again. Stop it. Okay, one more. Yeah, you you have cleared the challenge. Now for your next challenge. You must have ate me. And now we're gonna fight Huhuros. Kinda sounds like a Pokemon. Let us begin. Yes, this is Huhuros. Although he's hiding in pillars, which doesn't really matter because pillars can be easily destroyed, that is the reason why you should destroy the pillars. Because of that reason. Because he hides behind them. Also, be very careful of where he shoots. Anyways, my method for this is just using bro's attacks especially Luigi's attack bonus if if you have this leveled up because that is why because he can attack both of them at once he can have two targets at once which is a very good thing to do and a very good thing to have focus the smap the splash one on Hujuros. and focus the bros bounce on or bounce bros on both which I didn't really mean to. Damn it. Destroy that. So I can destroy the... Actually, damn it. That kind of fucked up. I was actually hoping to destroy the one without Hukuros in it. So I might as well just do this. There we go. Much better. Yes, you are out. And I hear a dog at my door. I hate that. There we go. Oh, oh crap. Luigi's gonna die. I know I'm not gonna destroy that pillar with it. There we go. And Mario levels up. Good. And just gonna make the attack power much better with Mario. There we go. Level 30 attack power. Good. You got past this test too. Now you must face the test of reaching the summit. I cannot do GLaDOS. I, that wasn't what I was going for, but I can't do GLaDOS. That would have been so funny if GLaDOS actually was the voice of that. But it's not, which I'm glad it isn't. Because GLaDOS doesn't belong in a game like this. She belongs in a game like Portal. Which is a fun game, but kind of overrated game. Not saying I hate Valve, just saying that it's overrated. And I'll stop it right here.
Next time on Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we'll actually reach the summit. If we can. So until we meet again, this has been Live the Osh Man the Amish Gamer. Keep Osh and all. So goodbye for what I'll do, but most importantly, it's I'll see you in the next part. Until we meet again, ta-ta.